black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. So I'm so excited um, to be talking to you right now. I refreshed my memory on For Life last night. Um, it's definitely one of my shows. I love 50 Cent shows, by the way. So <laughs> I'm excited about this new season. And with For Life, I actually, after I watched the whole season, I'm like, okay, I need to really find out about this man. So I did all this different research on the show, the wife, the kids, like everything um, when I first, the season first ended. So with that being said, what first of all, what can we expect on the second season? I know he going, he, the trial, is he going to have a trial? I re, like, what is going to happen? Well, we do, I, I think it's pretty much, I think it's safe to say that he is going to get out. And um, now it's about him reclaiming the life that was taken from him, right? Mm -hmm. How does he now adapt to life on the outside? Something that he's wanted and dreamed about for, you know, close to 10 years, you know, nine, mm -hmm. 10 years. And now it's a reality. How does he navigate that? How, how that affects Marie is, well, now it's something that she hoped for, and but then also just wasn't really sure if it was ever going to happen. So how is she now adapting to Aaron being out? Like the one thing that she always wanted now is here. So what does that mean? What does that mean for her? What does that mean for them as a couple, as a family? You know, how is she adapting to Aaron being on the outside? And yeah, you know, it's a very complicated, complicated relationship, right? Because when he was last season, she's in this love triangle, right? right. You know, and now, you know, she kind of kicked Darius to the curb. Now the man coming back, but what that mean? Because it's not like they're gonna run off into the sunset together. It's not like right. a fairy tale. You know, it's it's the real work of the relationship and rebuilding the relationship um, mm -hmm. begins. So that's that's definitely something that 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 home dynamic is something that is very different from last season. So I know um, on the season finale, they had where basically he had a choice like the judge granted him a retrial, but also you got the the DA well the prosecutor DA um, basically giving him an ultimatum. So it doesn't really, well, I guess in where you told us he is getting out this season, but it's just like, uh -huh. huh? Yeah, but like what decision does he make? Cause it's like, you might get in trouble with your job. You know, you just got back on your feet. You invested so much, you know, time and money. So I'm, I'm very excited to see what decision cause it's very decision you gonna make. Cause like, I know I didn't do this, but then I, I'm- Right. Like, yeah. Or, my I could fight for to be free and not have be a felony, but then my girl yeah. is gonna affect her. Do you fight or do you negotiate? Because right. freedom is there. How are you gonna get it? So you're gonna have to watch it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that part. But I can't tell you. He <laughs> doesn't get out. I'll tell you that. Right. Okay. So we know he's gonna get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, like I said, I did a lot of research. And from my research, this is what I gather from the research, is that um, from looking at the interviews and reading them, it seems that. Oh, no, are you frozen? I have, like, am I? No, you were frozen. Your screen oh, froze. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it seemed as if he's not completely innocent, but the way they prosecuted him was unlawful. And that's what I gathered from the interviews and research. With Isaac or? Isaac. You mean, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know the particulars of his case, but, you know, our story is not necessarily based. Um, yeah, I was reading it. It's more inspired, yes, yeah, so inspired by mm -hmm. um, by his life and the journey that he, um, I mean, by getting in there, but also his journey on getting out. Um, because yeah. In the real story, him and the wife had been got a. Yeah. So, like, I think Marie's. Oh, 
Yeah, because you know, like when, when when they start to fictionalize things or whatever, you know, maybe the characters are composite characters, or maybe because um, I mean, I never spoke with the um, with I his ex never wife. Never so, like no, I just I I based my experience, I based my um, I don't know portrayal of Marie or characterization. Mm -hmm. I based it on my two friends mm -hmm. who both partners who were formerly incarcerated mm -hmm. um one that was in there for he was in for a minute and she 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 stuck by him she stayed with him um and um another friend whose partner at the time wasn't in as long but still like both of them I used and those these are two of my closest friends so I and I remember a lot of what it was like for them to be without the person that they loved and the sacrifices that they had to make and the difficulties in that. So that's what I based Marie on. I mean, personal experience, not my person, but the personal experience of two women who I really love and, and their struggles and their journeys with, with, with incarcerated partners. Well, thank you so much. We have to wrap it up, unfortunately. And I'll just have to tune in when the new season premieres on ABC. And I'm excited. It's Wednesday. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.